Okay, I'm back after a little bit of rest, and I went to Michael's. I have so many supplies coming in. I try to get everything online from AliExpress. Try not to do the craft stores unless I see something very specific I've seen online. And, of course, there's coupons and uh, other discounts. Look at this beautiful plastic on dark green tablecloth. Anyway, so this is a haul. First, first moment back, I'm just going to brag about stuff I bought, which is what they call on the internet a haul. Haul, like I hauled it all the way over from the store 12 minutes away and put it in my van and hauled it all the way here. So anyway, it's a haul, y'all, just in time for the fall. I'll try not to stall. I'll bring it out for y'all. All right, well, what do we got? What do we got? Um, so, I just got a small amount of silver because I'm going to try to find a new place to get silver. My current supplier, don't want to bring them down, but their silver has been coming out really hard, which I don't understand because silver-plated copper should be as soft as copper. It's electroplated, as far as I know, meaning it's a microscopic layer of silver, so it's basically copper, but I don't know. So anyway, I got a 20-gauge and 18-gauge until I can find a better supplier to buy it in bulk because these little tiny amounts are not going to last long but at least it'll allow me to get something done um, these were super cool because they are copper um, purposely ah, can't remember the word put it in the comments for me uh, when they tarnish it on purpose to get this green color with copper um, there's a word for it but it'll come to me anyway those were kind of cool I haven't seen those online. I really like the blue-green. It's almost like a turquoise -y. Um I wonder if there, it was just like enamel added to make it look like it was that tarnished. Either way, they look super cool. They make great earrings. I um, got myself some stretch magic because the rest of it's at my booth, and I'm in a different city, and I want to make some plain regular stretch cord uh, bracelets. And I, I want to tell you guys that, like, if you ever get bored or frustrated, like, Oh, this this wire weaving and everything I'm trying to do is so difficult and I'm not getting it. You just need to have some fun. Just step back and have some fun. Take some of your old beads. Take some junk that's been laying around and just start making some stretch cord bracelets. I'll put the I'll try to put the link to the video on stretch cord bracelets if you never made them. It's so easy. You just put them on here, tie a knot, put a little dab of crazy glue to hold the knot because it's a slipper knot, and that that's pretty much it. But um, anyway. I'm going to make a bunch of stretch cord bracelets today when I need to chill out because it's just so funny. You just watch TV and stack these beads. Anyway, these I think would make really cool earrings. And this was stuff was all on sale. So I got some of these. I love how they spin like that. Um, you can always do with your dyed howlite, a fake turquoise. People love this fake turquoise. It's still real stone, so it's cool. And it's like pennies per chip in every chip can be a ring, especially, and I said once before, turquoise paired with silver is like the easiest combo to sell, especially in a ring or earrings or anything. These octopuses, I just absolutely love, I love, love the octopus is like my favorite creature, at least aquatic creature, after like cats and dogs. Um, anyway, so just throw one of these sideways with a jump ring on a leather cord and bam, the um, punk people think they're amazing. And uh, I want to try these uh, shell. It's mother of pearl. It obviously has some blue dye added to enhance it, but they're so pretty. And I think with silver, that could have an equally beautiful effect along with, with the, um, as long as, along with the turquoise. Um, Trying out some new charms. I like the three, I, I don't like the gold, but these are three different colors, and I like the 3D effect of these. So that's fun. Come on, focus camera. Camera decided it does There we go. Camera didn't like the 3D effect. Yeah, I don't like gold, but you know what? I'll, I'll uh, make an exception now and then. And so we got the silver and the antique copper, and we'll make do with the gold. I did not have this color. I think this is carnelian. What does it say on here? It's probably just some kind of stone. Um, where does it say? Red agate. Oh, it is, okay, so it's real agate. That's cool. Um, carnelian and agate are basically, I'm pretty sure, they're almost the same stone, quartz-based. 
But I had red coral, like a solid red. And then I had citrine, which is like this, but yellow, like almost whitish yellow. So I, I like this orange. That's going to be cool. Puts Throw some fall colors in to throw people off for the winter holidays. Um, got more of these. They come in all colors at Michael's, but the blue is really the best seller. And I think every single one of these shapes is going to make a good pendant. So this is great. This was on sale for like less than half off. These are um, dyed jasper. Look at jasper. It's such a pretty stone. Look at that. See, that, that that's naturally an earth tone. The blue is added. The blue the blue green is added. But even, even without the dye, I'd like to get some without the dye with this specific kind of jasper. If you know what kind of jasper you think this is, Put that in the comments, too. There's, like, so many varieties of jasper. There's, like, leopard skin jasper. I think there's dragon skin jasper. There's kumbaba jasper. There's so many. Um, is that it? I think that's it. Got a leftover sweet and sour sauce. Going to put that away for later. Just don't, don't waste anything. There's a balance between not wasting anything and not being a hoarder. If you got to lean one way or another, believe it or not, it's better to not be a hoarder. Because then you can live your life peacefully without junk crushing you, but and taking up all your time and wasting your time, and then you can never find what you really need. But that being said, if you can be organized, you'd be surprised. Stuff I thought I'd never use, like I've accumulated beads and stones and stuff over the years, and stuff I thought I would never ever use, I put in boxes, put them away somewhere, and dug them out when I was bored five years later, and boom. Perfect thing. I used to say I only needed this size jump ring and this size jump ring. And then later on, I only needed this size jump ring and this size jump ring. And now I'm just like, I can use any size jump ring somewhere. And I prefer to have the entire range from like 2 millimeter or whatever the smallest one is, 3 millimeter all the way up to like 12 millimeter. Anyway, that's fun. I also am getting stuff in from AliExpress. I got these great uh, lapis lazuli stones. Uh, they're 10 millimeter. They're going to make some big, chunky men's bracelets. I, I discovered men really like these big, chunky 8 or 10 millimeter, just just a bunch of round stones. Usually they're very simple. Usually they like tiger's eye or lava stone, the, the, the gold and the black. But every once in a while they like the dark blue. You know, some of these some sometimes get a little crazier with the colors, or you mix them in, subdue it a little bit. Uh, what else do I got? I got a bunch of other stuff. These spacer beads are gonna come in handy. Very cool, right? I got a massive amount of cord in like four colors from Amazon. This is these are good. This is like standard black. I have tons of just black because black is the best. But every once in a while, you want to switch it up. This is like a bluish gray. Very light bluish gray. That's like a cream. And then there's this olive green. The olive green is the one I use the most. And then the brown. Um, brown. But like, if I could just, I should try to just get the olive green and the black. But some of these colors, if I find a, like a similar stone or some light colored hemp that's wrapped around a stone, this girl wraps stones in hemp and give, just gives them to me as pendants and then I put them on the cord. Anyway, just rambling. I know you guys, some of you... Don't mind the rambling, so I'm rambling. Here I am. Thank you for watching, and I will try to have a video on how to actually make something very soon. Have a great day, guys. Oh, and five-second rule. It's been like a week since I put that video out, but it's called One Phrase to Change Your Life. I'll try to put the link in here, too. Five-second rule, guys. Got me out of bed this morning. I don't know how much longer I would have laid there arguing with my thoughts about how I should do the day or what I should be looking forward to in the next few weeks instead of just getting out of bed and making it happen. Five second rule kill. See you guys soon.